Let's talk about insulin, a hormone often misunderstood but critically important for our health, especially when it comes to weight management. You see, insulin isn't the villain, but its erratic behavior, particularly those dramatic surges we call insulin spikes, can indeed sabotage our weight loss efforts. Imagine insulin as a diligent traffic controller, directing the flow of glucose, the sugar we get from food, into our cells for energy. When we eat, especially refined carbohydrates like white bread or sugary drinks, our blood sugar levels rise rapidly. In response, our pancreas releases insulin to usher this glucose into our cells. Now, frequent and excessive consumption of these refined carbohydrates leads to a chronic state of high insulin levels. Picture a traffic controller constantly bombarded with cars, leading to gridlock and chaos. Similarly, consistently elevated insulin levels can lead to a condition called insulin resistance. This means our cells become less responsive to insulin signals, like a door becoming increasingly resistant to a key. The glucose doesn't enter the cells as efficiently and instead remains in the bloodstream, setting the stage for weight gain and a host of metabolic issues. Insulin plays a crucial role in how our bodies utilize and store energy. When we consume food, particularly carbohydrates, our blood sugar levels rise. This rise signals the pancreas to release insulin into the bloodstream. Think of insulin as a key that unlocks the doors of our cells, allowing glucose to enter and be used for energy. Without insulin, glucose would remain in the bloodstream, unable to fuel our cells. However, insulin's role extends beyond just glucose regulation. It's also a powerful storage hormone. When we consume more calories than our bodies need for immediate energy, insulin directs the excess glucose to be stored as glycogen in the liver and muscles. Once these glycogen stores are full, insulin promotes the conversion of excess glucose into fat, which is stored in adipose tissue, or fat cells. This storage mechanism ensures we have energy reserves for times when food is scarce. Now, imagine a scenario where our cells become less responsive to insulin signals. This is known as insulin resistance, a condition that lies at the heart of many metabolic disorders, including weight gain. In insulin resistance, the locks on our cells become rusty, making it difficult for insulin to open the doors and let glucose in. Consequently, the pancreas pumps out even more insulin, trying to overcome this resistance and force glucose into the cells. This leads to a state of chronically elevated insulin levels, further exacerbating the problem. High insulin levels send a clear message to our bodies. Store fat. It's like constantly telling a storage facility to make more room because more deliveries are coming. As a result, we tend to store more fat, particularly around the abdomen, and find it incredibly challenging to shed those extra pounds. The good news is that we can break this vicious cycle and regain control of our insulin levels. By making conscious dietary and lifestyle choices, we can prevent those dramatic insulin spikes and promote a healthier metabolic environment. One of the most effective strategies is to choose carbohydrates wisely. Not all carbs are created equal. Refined carbohydrates like white bread, pasta, and sugary drinks are quickly absorbed into the bloodstream, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. Instead, opt for complex carbohydrates like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. These contain fiber, which slows down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, preventing those dramatic insulin surges. Protein and healthy fats are our allies in the fight against insulin spikes. Unlike carbohydrates, they have minimal impact on blood sugar levels and don't trigger significant insulin release. Protein, in particular, helps us feel fuller for longer, reducing the urge to snack between meals. This is because it takes longer to digest and doesn't cause those rapid fluctuations in blood sugar that can lead to cravings. Incorporate healthy fats like avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil into your diet. These fats provide satiety, support hormonal balance, and help stabilize blood sugar levels, contributing to a more balanced insulin response. Section 6. Carbohydrates. Choose wisely. Consume in moderation. While carbohydrates have become the villain in many dietary narratives, they are not inherently bad. 
They provide essential energy for our bodies. The key is to choose them wisely and consume them in moderation. Not all carbohydrates are created equal. Focus on complex carbohydrates like whole grains, brown rice, quinoa, oats, fruits like berries, apples, pears, and vegetables such as leafy greens, broccoli, and carrots. These contain fiber, which slows down sugar absorption and prevents insulin spikes. Limit or avoid refined carbohydrates like white bread, pasta, sugary drinks, and processed snacks. These lack fiber and cause rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin. Section 7. Lifestyle Changes Exercise and Stress Management Beyond diet, lifestyle factors play a significant role in insulin sensitivity. Regular physical activity, even moderate intensity exercise like brisk walking, can improve insulin sensitivity, making our cells more responsive to insulin signals. Chronic stress, on the other hand, can wreak havoc on our hormonal balance, including insulin. When we're stressed, our bodies release cortisol, a hormone that can interfere with insulin's action and contribute to insulin resistance. Incorporate stress-reducing practices into your daily routine, such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, and spending time in nature. These practices can help lower cortisol levels, promoting better insulin sensitivity and overall metabolic health. Section 8. Reclaiming Your Metabolic Health – A Journey to Sustainable Weight Loss Understanding the intricate relationship between insulin and weight is paramount for achieving sustainable weight loss. It's not just about counting calories, but about making choices that support healthy insulin levels. By adopting a holistic approach that encompasses dietary changes, regular physical activity, and stress management techniques, we can break free from the cycle of insulin spikes and insulin resistance. Remember, this is not about deprivation, but about making sustainable lifestyle changes that nourish your body and promote optimal metabolic health. It's about making choices that support your long-term well-being. Section 9. Your Next Steps – Empowering Yourself with Knowledge and Action Knowledge is power, and now that you have a deeper understanding of insulin's role in weight management, you can make informed choices to support your health journey. Here are some empowering steps you can take. Start by assessing your current dietary habits. Identify areas where you can make healthier choices, such as swapping refined carbohydrates for complex carbohydrates and incorporating more protein and healthy fats into your meals. Make gradual changes to your diet. Instead of overhauling your entire eating pattern overnight, focus on making small, sustainable changes over time. Listen to your body. Pay attention to how different foods make you feel. Notice any energy crashes, cravings, or digestive discomfort after eating certain foods. This can provide valuable insights into your body's individual response to different foods. Consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian. They can provide personalized guidance and support based on your individual needs and health goals. Remember, you have the power to take control of your metabolic health. By making conscious choices that support healthy insulin levels, you can achieve sustainable weight loss, boost your energy levels, and improve your overall well-being. If you found this video helpful, please support our channel by subscribing. Your support helps us create more content to guide you on your health journey.